It's a heated topic that seems to have some divers and fishermen at odds. Should Florida allow the fishing of the Goliath grouper? The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is considering this issue right now. News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman has been talking to folks on both sides of this issue today. Alyssa? Kelly, according to FWC, while Goliath grouper is a prohibited species, meaning you can't catch it and keep it, it's actually not a federally listed endangered or threatened species. But the fact that FWC is even exploring the possibility of a limited harvest has reignited a hot topic. Despite its obvious size, this is actually a selfie. It's only fitting that this Goliath grouper has been named Tiny by some of its biggest fans. That's how friendly this this 500 pound fish is. And Tiny isn't the only Goliath grouper that diver Jim Abernathy has befriended over the years. These are personal friends. Shadow's been there for over two decades. Which is only one of the reasons why Abernathy and several others from the diving community are outraged that the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is exploring a limited harvest season for these underwater wonders. I don't believe that the squeeze is worth the juice. According to FWC, this came about at one of its commission meetings, partly because research shows the population is increasing in Florida. Diver Dan Volker worries about the toll even a limited harvest could take on our local economy. Between their airfare and the hotels and the restaurants. Saying divers come from all over to see these fish. It's insane to kill off an economy that's that powerful for South Florida. But not everyone feels this way. Captain Tony Matarese has been chartering fishing trips for nearly 30 years. I think they're doing a lot of harm to us. Uh, they eat mostly crustaceans, crabs. And says that he thinks a limited harvest could be beneficial. I think it should be a season that's open similar to uh, deer season. Now all of this is still far from being decided. One of the big issues raised is, is the fish even safe to eat? Now FWC says it is edible but has high levels of mercury and that's actually a question only the health department can decide. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Alyssa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5.